And I think I got one. What's going on, Saxon family? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet a subscribed and a part of the Saxon family, what are you doing with your life? Smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Today, guys, it is freezing cold. That's why I got a hat on, some gloves, and uh, I'm actually on my way to East Rutherford, New Jersey to go to the Minnesota Vikings versus Jets game, which I'm super excited for because my sister's like, hey, I heard you got fired from your job. Let me take you to a Vikings game to make you feel better. So I just got to my sister's college and actually here she comes. I'm so excited to actually see her. I haven't seen her in like a few months, at least since the summer. Hey, What is up, Daria? JJ? JJ? <laughs> Who's JJ? Yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry, I heard about, heard about Jesse. Yeah, I know, well. It sucks. Thanks yeah. for at least wanting to take me to a football game to make me feel better. Yeah, no problem, anything, honestly. Uh, quick question. We got like two hours till the game mm -hmm. starts. Is there anything you want to do to kill time? Let's go get food. I actually, I am kind of hungry. I like that idea. It is absolutely freezing here in New Jersey. One thing I don't miss about being back in Jersey is the cold weather. But one thing I do miss about being in Jersey is my little sister. We're actually going to go to one of our favorite family places called, uh, what is it? Cheeseburger in paradise, da da da. There's actually a song about this place. It was invented by Jimmy Buffett, right? Yeah. So they call this place Cheeseburger in Paradise, and you can see why. My sister and I basically got the same burger, except hers has no pickles. Mine does. I know first thing tomorrow, what I'm doing is I'm hitting the gym and doing a few miles. How's that burger look, Daria? Delicious. We are here at MetLife Stadium, guys. We actually rushed out a burger, uh, what was it, Cheeseburger in Paradise? Because uh, the game actually starts in 10 minutes, and we are like, oh, we need to get out of here like a half hour ago. So we hurried up, and now we're here, and hopefully the Vikings can walk away today with a win. I'll be very happy. My last Vikings game, guys, as you guys know, let's go! Yeah, guys, last game I went to, many of you guys know, is at the NFC Championship game where I got my heart broken by the Eagles. And uh, hopefully today, we can at least walk away with the victory. I'll, I'll be happy. Standing in line. Dude. Game already started, but uh, Thielen just threw a touchdown pass. Let's go, baby. Oh. Yeah, guys, so this is the seat. Daria, thank you. Such a crazy view. A lot better than the view I had when I went to the NFC Championship game against the Eagles last year. So pretty, pretty happy about this. This just makes up for being fired. By the way, guys, we're going to do the channel shift membership. Shout out of the day. It's going to go to these two wonderful people right over there. Baby, here we go. A nice Russian touchdown. Get it! Come on! Let's get it! Get it! Get it! Yeah! Yes! Go! 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 Yes! Yes! Gary, high five! Woo! Let's go! Yeah! Let's go, baby! 26 to 10! Let's go Vikings! Let's go Vikings! 
Derry, I just want to say thank you. That just made what I've been going through the past couple days ten times better. You're welcome, Jay. Especially because it was a Vikings win! Uh, hey! <laughs> Skull Vikings, baby. Skull. What do they know about the Skull, Daria? They know nothing about the Skull. Guys, I gotta say, um, after being let go by Jesse, being able to hang out with my sister and go to a Vikings game. Yeah, it was honestly a great day. It just makes everything that I've been going through the past couple days ten times better. And, uh, you know, in the end, no matter what you have, family is the only thing that really matters the most. Stop that Wawa real quick to uh, get a water bottle. And uh, that's the news over there. I wonder what is going on. I'm actually going to try getting on the news myself. Take a look of the room, you guys. This is where I've been staying for the past couple of days since I got to my parents' house. Don't judge me right now. My hair is uh, not spiked up. It is actually night. I spent most of my day today actually just hanging out with my niece and nephew. They're, they're a little bit younger, so we just ran around the yard playing soccer the whole time. And I actually posted a video of that to my Instagram and Twitter, at Jeff Saxon Vlogs. And, it, you know, it, it's just been nice catching up with them. But I've yet to tell my parents that I got fired, so that's going to be... I don't know how that's going to go. But there's been one thing I've been thinking about, and that is I do have to apologize to Michael, a.k.a. Kid Behind the Camera, for what I did. I know at the end of the day, in my heart, I thought I was doing the right thing. And, you know, just having that experience at the Vikings game yesterday with my sister, it made me realize, like, everything Jesse was saying about the Vikings and with my dad and, you know how I would feel people were just, you know, saying things about them, and I, I see where Jesse is coming from, and uh, I think, I think I'm going to apologize to the kid behind the camera. Making a FaceTime call to Michael Green. Please, Mike, answer. Hey. Hey, what up, man? Hey, I, I just want to apologize for that, or like, the other day. Are you filming this? Yeah, I mean, I've been getting a lot of hate, dude, so I just want to, like, show everybody that I'm, like, going to actually apologize to you. They can't see my number or anything, can they? No. What's no. Up, well, at the end of the day, my heart was in the right place when I tried washing AGP's car. And, uh, listen, I should have asked you, Mike. I, I know how much that car means to you, and just seeing it sit there and collecting the dust and not working, I, I wanted to do something right and make up for the handcuff prank and all that. So, I just want to say I'm sorry. It's okay, man. Like, I, you know, I, I got anger problems as it is, okay? I, I didn't want you to get fired. That's not something that I wanted to happen. I was just pissed, and I regretted it as soon as you guys left. Like, it was I, it was screwed up, okay, you know? Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, if I could go back in the past, I dude. I'm so mad. I should have talked to you and, and just, just heard your side. Mike, at the end of the day, you know what? I did mess up, in my opinion. I should have just asked you first. Um, and, you know, getting fired was something I didn't expect. But at the end of the day, we can't change the past, but we can only focus on the future. And, you know, I, I want to be friends with you. And anytime I can help you out, I'm more than willing to help you with anything. And um, well, there's just nothing I can do. I, I'm going to have to just focus on YouTube at this point. What, what's, the, what's the odds that Jesse will give you your job back? I don't know, man. He hasn't talked to me since he fired me. I feel partially responsible for that, man. So, like, what if there was a way that we could, like, get your job back? Or at least try. What do you mean? Like, I don't think Jesse's going to want to hire me back, Mike. Are you aware the, about the, like, Jesse has no clue, but me and Boogie, we're all in Colorado right now. Are you really? We're, we're in Colorado right now. And... He's not expecting us. What's an extra surprise? What if you show up and we can, like, try in person? You think that might actually help, Mike? I don't know how Jesse works. I don't. I only know him from the times that I've spoken to him. You know, what do you think? Do you think something like that would work? 
I mean, I, I feel like if you and Boogie just sat him down, well, mainly you, and just say, like, at the end of the day, I think Swift was just trying to help out, and I overreacted, and, like, I also apologize to you in front of Jesse again, I think maybe. I mean, Mike, at this point, with what I'm starting to make now on YouTube, if I can move back to my parents' house, I'll be able to sustain myself with paying bills. I'd do it for free, working for Jesse. I mean, I'm sure he'll like hearing that. <laughs> That's... Well, listen, I'm surprising him. Boogie's surprising him. Just surprising him, and he's in a good mood. He can't be pissed, right? That's true. That's true. He's going to get mad at me for inviting you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that might actually happen. I think you should show up, dude. When when should I be there by though? I mean, I'm here now. We're here till next. We're here till the end of the week. So like tonight, tomorrow, as soon as possible. Well, your boy's going on a date tonight. Um, yeah. What? Yeah, I got. I'm gonna go see the new Halloween movie with this girl. So uh, I'm gonna you go do that. But I'll book a flight for tomorrow. What is that? What's that? Dies at the end of Halloween. Oh, why'd you gotta ruin the movie for me now, Mike? I'm, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, come, dude. Like, cancel the date. Come tonight. I'll, I'll see what I can work out, Mike. So, where in Colorado am I going, though? Boulder. Boulder, Colorado. You're not gonna find a flight to Boulder. Just fly to Denver. It's like 40 minutes from Boulder. Okay. Cool. Well, Mike, I'm running late for my date, so I'll uh, I'll catch you later. <laughs> Well, good luck. Vlog the day. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. You better vlog the day. Nobody's going to believe it exists. All right, I'll vlog the date. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate the apology, man. And I apologize, too. Hey, man. Friends? Of course, man. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll see you in Colorado then. I mean, good luck tonight. Thank you. Wow. That went a lot different than I expected. I thought he was going to yell at me, but it's cool that... He uh, accepted my apology, but people now text me. It's actually my date. <laughs> well, this is going to be the plan, guys. I'm going to go book my ticket before I go on my date. And I'm going to go on my date. Maybe I'll vlog part of that for you guys. Introduce her a little bit. And, uh, yeah, with all that being said, if you guys did enjoy this video, do me a favor, drop a like on it. Click that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Saxon family, do you know I love you guys. I love you guys' support. And, yes... With one making now on YouTube, it's like $2,000 a month. Um, if I can move out of my apartment, move back here with my parents, I think I'd be able to, you know, just afford to do this and then work for Jesse for free. And um, I would do that. But until then, I'm going to log out. I'm going to peace out. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to. And pop, 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 pop. Peace.